Hey, what's going on, guys? Sorry for the inactivity for a month. Um, been busy with some stuff, but I thought I'd make a little video for you guys, and it was actually a pretty cool idea. So, I've been collecting the older Lego Star Wars minifigures uh, for a little bit now, and I want to show you what I've come across. This goes from 1999 to about 2006. Um, after that, I consider that a little bit newer, but let's show you guys what I've come across in the span of of uh, the uh, time period that I've been collecting these old minifigures for. So let's get into this. Now, actually, the first two minifigures on this, uh, in this video, go to my 2005 Anakin and Obi-Wan. So this guy I got, I believe, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I've always wanted 2005 Anakin. And I came across one online for like nine bucks. He probably, this is probably like a $15, $20 figure, which is honestly pretty good. And I got him in really great shape. All these figures are in great shape, by the way. And he comes with the older style Anakin face print. As you can see, they do not have double-sided faces. And he has the standard long hair piece, which is kind of ugly now, but... Honestly, it's really cool to know that that's what they used. He has his uh, Starship antenna printed on there. And he has a serious face, blue lightsaber, no leg printing, his uh, robot hand and his uh, flesh colored hand print. Let's put him back on there. That has got to be one of my favorite uh, Lego Stars mini figures. Now, right here is my 2005 Obi-Wan. This guy I've been looking for forever. He went for a pretty penny. I've seen him go for like 25, 30 bucks. I found him, I think, for 15 or 12, 15 bucks. Picked him up. And yeah, he's he's about a 25, 30 dollar figure. Obi-Wan is more valuable than a Anakin. But overall, this figure is awesome. He has no leg printing. He has his flesh colored hands, his blue lightsaber. He has a standard orange hair piece. He's got the antenna printed on there as well. The standard uh, old Obi-Wan uh, face print. He has no back printing on the face and no back torso print. Oop, his head just turned. But yeah, this is another figure that I have just been looking for for a very long time, but just could never find a good deal. Let's go to the next figure. Next up is my 2005 General Grievous, which is actually my most recent buy. He comes with his uh, yellow and blue lightsabers and both arms. He does not have his cape, um, but he's just his this plain white droid. This is what General Grievous used to look like. I want to get my hands on his cape, though, and I will find his cape for a good deal and uh, complete this minifigure. But overall, this figure was a great deal. Only 20 bucks I paid for him. He's like a 40 to 50 dollar figure in this condition and with this cape because he can go upwards of like 60 dollars so we're gonna find that cape for him but yeah just happy to have this general grievous in my collection now the rest of this video will be dedicated to this custom minifigure stand that i made for all the other figures now firstly from the stand we have my 2006 uh tie fighter pilot i think that's what it was now, this isn't like any of the other TIE Fighter pilots because he has a Stormtrooper molded helmet. No printing on the front, uh, like the eye pieces, but he has the Empire logo. A black headpiece. Just his TIE Fighter torso print. No arm printing and no back torso print or leg printing. It's a very basic figure. I only got this for like six bucks and he's like a, it's like an eight to ten dollar figure. So he's not terribly valuable, but really really cool figure now we have a biker scout trooper this biker scout trooper is not like the other biker scout troopers he is from 1999 he's got the head print and this biker scout trooper i've been looking for forever again this is another figure i can never find a good deal on i think i got him for like six bucks maybe and it's about a 12 15 dollar figure and he just has his the standard biker scout printing all around and no back printing, no leg printing, and no arm printing in his uh, pistol. Really cool figure. Now, this figure I've had for a very long time. I don't remember what I paid for him, but 
uh, he goes for about 50 bucks. I think that's no question. He's like a $50 figure. But we have my 2004, I think, 2002, 2001 Boba Fett. And he has the black headpiece. He has the old uh, molded helmet, uh, the standard Boba Fett printing on the torso, no arm printing, no leg printing. And overall, this I'm so happy to have this figure. I want to get my hands on another one though. So that is a goal for me. I will find one for a good deal eventually. But I love to get my hands on another Boba Fett. The old one. I love the old style. This was another recent buy. The 2002 Tusken Raider. Another figure I've been looking for forever. Just never could find a good deal on it. But overall, this figure is amazing. I love the printing on him. And I love the headpiece. That's what I like about this figure. He's so unique. And he has back printing. So overall, this Tusken Raider is great. Love that figure. Now this figure, I got for a very, very good deal back in the day. I think I got, oh God, if I can remember, uh, 30-ish, I think, 30 bucks. And this figure goes for like 90 to $100 now, which is insane, but the set he's in goes for, I think, 500 bucks. So that's uh, understanding, but he, I gave him a custom uh, weapon. But yeah, this is the 2004 Greedo with the arm printing so this is a really cool figure he's like a bluish color not green which is awesome uh basic uh torso print uh like a light blue leg uh no bag printing overall this figure is awesome i love this figure and yeah i really like this figure guys and he's basic but he's worth a very pretty penny Next up, we have the 1999 Anakin Pod Racer. Another figure, uh, he was, he's always, I think what I got him for, he, I got this figure for like six bucks. But he was six dollars ever, I just never came across to ordering him. But I found him in person, and I bought him. Hit a pull the trigger, he was cheap. Um, he's a, he's like a six, eight dollar figure, so he's not terribly expensive, but no back printing, no facial, pr back facial printing. He's basic Anakin uh, Skywalker face print. Basic torso print, no arm print, no leg print. And he says the pod racer helmet, which that's what he looks like. But yeah, I'm happy to have him. He's not the most uh, overwhelming figure. He's just the basic Anakin. This figure is what I've been looking for for a little bit. A Knight's Nine and Obi-Wan. And again, he's got similar printing to uh, Anakin. Uh, basic uh, torso print, his uh, yellow... Uh, facial print, basic 99, uh, Obi-Wan face print, gray hair piece, no arm printing, no leg printing, and overall just a basic Obi-Wan figure from 1999. Now these figures, these next three, I got them in their original set, I believe it's called the Final Duel, and I got a Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper and this Imperial Officer. Now this guy is interesting, he just has like the city... Uh, old city a face print which is interesting because they never gave him a new face print and he has the basic uh, Empire uh, officer torso no arm printing no back torso print no leg printing and he's just a basic figure he goes for like six eight bucks I would say so yeah he's not a very valuable figure now we've got this stormtrooper from 2002 that guy was also from 2002 and of course, you may recognize him as Gus from my stop motions, but he had this fit, uh, headpiece, which is interesting. And he has the bullhorn gun, which thank God they retired those because they sucked. <laughs> uh, just the basic stormtrooper print. He goes for like 15, 20 bucks now, which I found that shocking. I mean, he's a great stormtrooper, but 15, 20 bucks, it's crazy. Uh, next up, we have the 2002 Luke. This is like Endor Luke. Um, he has a really cool chrome lightsaber, which is awesome. Uh, no leg printing, some torso print, the basic Luke Skywalker face print, and the tan hair piece. I love this figure. I've had these these three for a very long time as well. Same, like, just as, I bet just as long as the Boba Fett. This guy was a re most recent buy. Endor Luke. I've been wanting him forever. Can never find a good deal on him. And that Luke, honestly, that one, I think that one goes for about like eight bucks. 
this one though, he goes for like 12 to $15, weirdly enough. I think I got him for $12. Uh, he has this chrome lightsaber. He's got the cool uh, Endor torso. No leg printing, no arm printing, no back torso print. But overall, I love that figure so much. I'm so happy I can have my collection. Now these next two are great. We have the 1999 Obi-Wan. Or, is it 1999? Yeah, uh, the 1999 Young Obi-Wan. He has the ponytail printed on his torso, basic torso print, no leg printing. Uh, no back torso print and no back uh, facial print either. Uh, he has just this blue lightsaber. He's got no arm printing and yeah. And finally, the 1999 Qui-Gon. This is a very cool hair piece that I have been looking for for a very long time. Awesome hair piece. He has the basic Qui-Gon face print his uh, yellow lightsaber, his uh, brown cape, no back facial print, and no uh, leg printing, and just some basic torso print, no arm printing. Overall though, that is an awesome figure, and most of the figures I think I got for $12 each, and they both go for about 20 bucks. But yeah, that is my old Lego Star Wars minifigures. And the, it's gonna keep building up in uh, in size but this is what i got right now Alrighty, guys thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed click on down below and subscribe to this next video see you guys